Everyone expected Moline to be one of the best teams in the Western Big Six this year, but Sterling has been a nice surprise. Tonight, the Golden Warriors took an impressive 4-1 record in Western Big Six play to Wharton Fieldhouse. Let's head up the street. Maroons entering a perfect league record first quarter. Maroons with the lead and adding to it. Brock Harding to Trey Taylor. For the bucket inside, the sophomore lays it in. Home team up by seven, but don't blink. It's Harding with the steal. Off the inbounds, draining the corner three Maroons up double figures. A few trips later, Moline pushing the pace. Harding, the hit ahead to Owen Freeman for two more. The future Hawkeye connection gives Moline a 12-point lead. Freeman had 20 points on the night. Sterling trying to answer. Lucas Austin knocks down the jumper with the friendly roll right there. That got the Golden Warriors a little closer, but Moline just too much in this one. Owen Freeman kicks it out to little brother Braden for three. Maroons up 18, then check out the hustle. Maddox Diekman with a nice save right to Harding. He snags it, buries the trifecta. Harding had 20, Maroons win this one 54. 51 in your final score. To Don Morris, Jim, we go 15 and 40 United Township visiting Alleman first quarter in this one. Panthers with a red hot start. Devontae Wright, the lob. Hayden Terrell with the bucket inside. UT with the early lead. Ryan Weber's team continuing to shoot the ball well from behind the arc. Wright hits the three. Panthers race out to a 5 0 start. We're just getting warmed up. Bristol Lewis spots up, buries the three, the lead. Up to eight. Next trip, opposite wing, wing, similar results. Right drains the trifecta. Panthers with an 11 0 start. Pioneers try to right the ship. Lincoln Dorsey, the pretty bounce inside to Ryan Schmidt for the lay in. Owlman cuts into the lead, but the Panthers and Fuego from distance. Amarian Roberts kicks it out to Lewis for three more. You see up a dozen at that point. Panthers cruise in this one 64 26 for your final score. Sandwiches on the menu. Or I should say a little. Western Big Six scores, that's not updated for you, so we'll move ahead to our next game. As we mentioned, sandwiches on the menu out in Princeton. They were taking on sandwich in this one, and it's some nice play inside. Keegan Davis takes the bucket and scores. That's with the foul as well, gives United Township the lead. Then more in transition. The bucket right there gives Princeton the lead. More from the home team. Check out Owen Thompson going baseline and getting it to go right there. Princeton with the lead, and there's plenty to go around on this night. Noah Laporte, the steal, gathers it in and goes in for the bucket. UT, or I should say the Tigers, win this one 60 to 43. They're now 17 0 on the season. Let's hop the river to the MAC. And a good one at the pit. 5 and 2, North Scott hosting 5 and 2, Davenport West, fourth quarter. Lancers up. Falcons won't go quietly. Landon Winston scores inside. He had 13, lead cut to eight. Next trip, it's Tayshawn Scott grabbing the offensive rebound right here, getting the put back and the foul. Three point play the old fashioned way. Lead down to just five. Kyler Girardi, though, taking over after that. He goes in and scores the lay in. Lead back up to seven. Falcons with another shot to get closer. It's Scott dribbling his way in and getting it to go inside. West still down five. But it's not quite enough. Girardi knocks down some big free throws down the stretch. He had 18 on the evening. Lancers get a big home victory, 57-50, your final score. Five and two assumption, looking to stay red hot at Davenport, I should say at Central DeWitt. Knights hot from the tip. Damon Jackson bulldozing his way inside, getting one to go off the window. Knights up six early on. Assumption back on offense and back to work. Luke Klosterman drives and scores off the window as well. Knights adding to their lead. Sabres answer it with a little defense. Off the inbounds, it's Matthew Waters with the interception. He goes right to the cup, lays it up and in. Sabres cut the lead, but the Knights on a mission in transition. Jackson kicks it ahead to Klosterman, thinks about the three, and then goes right to the rim, lays it up and in. 13-2 start for Assumption. They stay hot, winning this one 51-38. Some more MAC scores for you. Central beats Muscatine 59-50 to improve to 5-3 in MAC play. Bettendorf gets a victory at home over North, and it's Pleasant Valley getting another win in MAC play, 71-28. Your final score. Let's get to the ladies. Davenport North looking for their ninth straight win, hosting Bettendorf home team with a fast start. Journey Houston kicks it out to Olivia McCorkle for three. Cats up 5 nothing early. Bulldogs bite right back, though. Nice ball movement. It's Faith Furness knocking down the three. Bettendorf within two. But the Cats came to play. Divine Burridge finding 
Damia Clark, who dials in from distance as well. North back up by five then. A little defense for the home team. It's Houston with the steal. She'll go coast to coast, coming right back in your living room. North wins this one 59 to 40. They're now 12 and one overall, nine and one in Mac play. Everyone chasing Pleasant Valley, the third ranked team in the state. Up in Clinton tonight, second quarter, Lady Spartans adding to their lead, Addie Mauer to Kelly Weiss for the bucket inside the Marquette commit. Builds Pleasant Valley's lead, then in transition, it's Reagan Panaggio, the long pass ahead to Haley Asalin for the bucket. PB cruising in this one, it's Weiss with another jumper. They're up 30 at that point. We will show you a final score. That bucket by Quinn Weiss. This one goes the way of Pleasant Valley, 63 to 16. A good matchup at Assumption. The Lady Knights welcoming Central DeWitt to town. Home team playing catch up early on. Annika Katula going baseline, knocking down the little jumper. That cuts in the lead. Assumption though, still down 10. Sabres with a sensational start. Ava Putman with the kick out to Reagan Hofer who drills the three. Central went up by 15. Lady Knights answer though. Ava Schubert catching and scoring and getting fouled. Lady Knights back within 10. Sabres though can score it as well. Lauren Walker gets free off the inbounds and hits the jumper. That put the Sabres up a dozen, but the Lady Knights with a huge second half, they win this one 58 to 54. Your final score.